Well, guys, welcome. Welcome to Legend of the Ghost Line. This is an RPG game that kind of is like if Dragon Warrior and Final Fantasy had a funky, sort of, only, sort of, good-looking in the right light sort of, uh, kit, if you will. As you can see, it's got that whole thing set up for itself where it's Dragon Warrior style walking around. The dungeon definitely is Dragon Warrior-esque. But just some of the stuff will remind you about Final Fantasy as well. Let's look. Found a lamp, a gold key, and a dagger. Now, the gold key will open a door for us momentarily, and that'll be the end of the gold key for us. They don't really put a whole lot of stock in letting you keep keys for very long, obviously. The um, spear and the lamp can be used to summon spirits who can help us. And the dagger is going to be our starting weapon, which is pitifully weak. Anyway, let's cross this solid-looking bridge and get out of here. Oh no. That's not good. I'm sure she'll be fine, though. She can swim, right? She can swim? Oh no, she's related to Mike Jones. That's no good. And then we wake up here talking to... Whatever the hell those are. <laughs> As I said, this game has beauty, but only in certain lights. Okay. Increase our courage. Magnify our dreams. And what is she talking about? Well, ho you look at the bottom, it says hope, courage, and dream. In this game, hope is your level, courage is your hit points, and dream is like your magic points, sort of. So, you gotta do what you gotta do. But first things first, let's see if we can wander into this cave without getting murdered. It's not the easiest thing to do, granted. We'll see if we can pull it off, but that's not a good start. So when you fight, you go fight, you can call somebody, or you can go to tools. Here, let's try calling the Spear Spirit. Yeah. Here comes Moja. Hooray for Moja. Moja can fight the skeleton. Moja, four damage points. Not very strong, as you can see. We took three. So, we could, we could do more calling if we wanted, or we can go to our tools and use our dagger. And Moja, as you can see, he loses his uh, power points pretty fast, even though he wasn't attacked. Come on, Moja, get it done. Nice. There we go. That's a good start. See, our dream points went down by one because we called in a spirit. So as you can see, calling in spirits is very important in this game. You just have to make sure you've got stuff on hand to refill your dream points because you don't want to run out at the wrong time. Alright, let's try calling in the other one. I have, I've never really messed with this game all that much. I just know it's fun. We get Twana. Whoa, dude. He looks pissed. Magic, flash, or needle? Let's try needle. Uh, <laughs> prick skeleton. Damn, nice. I'm gonna call Twana in more often. Damn, nice. And we're only coming in here, um, there's a fork here. If we go right, we're just gonna hit a, a currently what's a dead end. So we're coming in here for this. Because, here's how you level up in the game. You have to find fragments of hope. Hope is now 2, Courage is now 18, Dreams are now 22. That's the only way to increase your strength in this game, is getting fragments of hope. So that means you need to explore dungeons to your utmost. Uh oh, an orc. Ruh row Shaggy. Should we call someone in again? Ah, uh, let's call in the Spear Fellow again and see what happens. Early on enemies are just going to be attacking us normally, there won't be anything special to them. Yeah, Moshe is also powered up as you can see, because they your spirits power up along with you. So as you can see, calling them in really does help. And it also costs more, I think, to bring them in uh, as you get uh, levels up, because it's two that time to call them in. Unless they just refill to a point, but I think that's how that works. We'll see in a moment when I go back outside here. Come on now, someone attack me. Someone attack me. I get attacked out here, I know I can. I've been attacked. Ah, screw it. let's go back in the cave. Attack me, prove me right, you silly billy boys. Come on. You can do it. Put your buttocks into it. Come on. Sure, I wandered in Orleans. Like, oh, let's how fast can we attack this guy? Uh, no, we don't want to run. Running, I find, doesn't work all that well. So let's call in Juana again. Yeah, see, so now it costs two to call them in because they're this. It's the same as your hope. See, now it's dark and bomb. Let's try. Let's try flash. Let's just see what these do. I have no idea what they do. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, and yeah, see, once the power runs out on a spirit, you have to resummon them. So calling in your, uh, no, I don't want to call somebody. You can fight with your 
a dagger. And you can try out Dark. Let's try Dark. Yeah, we thrust that dagger right into his chesticle. Well, maybe not. Maybe not right into his chesticle. Oh no, don't attack her. What'd she do to you? Oh, that's too bad. I should definitely read up on what these magic uh, attacks do, but it's kind of fun to explore a game and to see what it's like. Let's see what Bomb does. I think Bomb might reduce the dream points of an enemy, so it's probably not going to do anything to this guy. Well, we're never going to find out. But I believe that's what Bomb does. Now I got 44 rubies. Cool. Well, anyway, that's a good start there just to show you what that is. So let's go back over to the Fairy Pond. And this is where you can save your game and refill. Okay. Yep. Sweet. And you can say yes. Nice. So now, that's how you save. You gotta save a fairy pond. As far as I know, you can't save any other way. Well, that was fast. Uh-huh. Now let's call in, uh... Lamp Man again. Let Lamp Man have some fun. Now, you're getting the idea here. The reason I'm just... I'm gonna start cutting fights after this. Anything that's new, I'll, uh... I'll show, but otherwise I'll start cutting old fights, because you don't just see these fights again and again. Oh, Needle isn't effective. Are orcs invulnerable to magic or something? Is that dumb to understand? Alright, fine. Well, let's see if your um, bomb does anything. Orcs just might be invulnerable. There could be some kind of like... Okay. No, oh, okay, bomb just does straight up damage. Nice. There, good attack power. Hooray! So we wanted to get to 50 rubies, by the way. That was the other reason I wanted to show off a little more of the attacking stuff. You want to get up here and go into this town. What's going on, homely looking person? The town of bread. Alright. So I guess this is where Bart Simpson went when Lisa was babysitting and told him to go to bread. Wait, no, she said go to bed. Not my bad. Oh no. Uh, no. Yes, yes I am. No, it's not the end of the world, just the end of your world, you silly billy woman. Silly... Hey, can't walk through bushes? What kind of freaking Nazi Germany is this? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's interesting. Your grandfather's a jerk. <laughs> hey, homely-looking feller. I do. I want to buy a club. Clubs are good. Mm-hmm. So now, we have a better weapon to use, which will do a lot more damage. Which means we don't have to call in spirits as much. Which is good news. We have to go actually do something. Yeah, so that was the Cave of Giants we were in. So, you want us to go get high. Alright, if you want. I believe this fine fellow has a ship that we can... Uh, no. We do not want to go on that ship for a while, because we will get our faces pounded if we go there. It's just, it's not a good idea. Okay. Nice. So as you see, we're learning all sorts of useful information already. And how about you, Pinkie Pie? What do you got for us? Oh no! Well, I got news. That woman seems to be a lot more on the ball than the actual Pinkie Pie. You know? Just one of those things. Anyway, I am going to go grind a whole bunch of rubies so we can buy a whole bunch of stuff in here, including doing the bread stuff for that woman. Un momento! Alright, so we're back in town here. And we've got about 400 rubies burning a hole in our pocket. So let's go buy some stuff, shall we? I want to buy some bread. Yes, I would. I'd also like to buy some bread. Yes, thank you. And also, I would like to buy some bread. Thank you. And I would also like to buy... Are you ready for this? Some bread. Thank you. Alright. Now, I don't know if we have a limited good space or not. Hard to say. Could only be eight if that's the case when we get props. But we got four bread, let's buy a tier. Yes, I would. Alright, I would also like to buy a blue ring. Tears refill your dream. The blue rings, I believe, are to up your defense. So, you know, that could be useful. Anyway, let's go talk to that old lady who wanted bread. That's why we bought a little extra bread. We want to give her some bread so she can be all happy in the pants again. Hello, lady. Oh, no. Um, sure. Oh, what? Fine. Good. You're greedy. Huh. Yeah, well. Okay, so we now have a letter to deliver in Davis. Cool. 
whenever we get to Davis. A much better named town than Bread, which is an awful name for a town. I don't know if you're aware of this fact, but it is. Well, let's buy ourselves one more piece of bread, just to be safe and fun. And that'll also give us a palindrome for rubies, and that's never a bad thing. So, with that out of the way, we're ready to head out of town and see what we can find. So let's go over this way and see what's going on. We heard about a goblin cave, and that's probably it right there. So let's go see the goblin cave. Assuming we can't, we can pass through the mushrooms. They're just slower. An orc, oh no! And he dodged my attack and hit me. I don't like him. He's a jerk. So now we're in a cave. And let's go this way. Alright, there's treasure over here. This is never a bad place to go. Hello, skeleton. How are you? Now that you're out of the way, skeleton, without any damage to me, thank goodness, let's get ourselves 100 rubies. Cool. I guess I could have come over here to, to save myself some time uh, grinding for money. Oh, well. I'm parting in the ways here. Let's go down. Oh, a zombie. You guys haven't seen a zombie. It's actually a pretty weak enemy. We're just going to club this guy in the face to make the world a better place. Nice. That's it for him. He's dead. Nice. Always good to kill people. Even if they're inanimate, reincarnated guys. Oh, no. An orc on a treasure chest. He posed little challenge. <laughs> Alright, a fragment of hope. Hopes 3, Courage is now 30, and Dreams are now 30. Nice. Does that automatically refill us? It does, too. Well, that's nice. It's a free refill. So sometimes it might pay to actually not collect those right away. Alright, let's see what we got here now. Let's see what's waiting for us. Hey, look, it's a guy. Hi, guy. Yes, I do. Okay, just move out of the... Oh, we're at the... Wow. It's kind of like if the Tin Man and a Goblin had a baby. Dear God. Let's call in Twana. We'll now be a little more powered up. <laughs> he has S plate, whatever that is. Bomb away, my friend. Bomb away. Ow, not nah, cool. Thankfully, we got those extra hit points, so. It's like courage. Nice. Nothing like bombing a guy. Basically, I'm a terrorist. It's awesome. Let's club that guy, and you're gonna use bomb again. Tell anything else, we know we know bomb is actually just an attack. Nice. That's all it took was two bombs. Pretty lame, Millhouse. Pretty lame. Alright, well, let's move on with life now that he's gone. Oh, first a zombie though. Boo. Well that was pretty anticlimactic, as they say. Well let's look on in here. We found Stardust. Nice. So I'm gonna head back to the fairy pond, fill up, and then we're going to go into the giant's cave. Could be a lot of fun. You'll join me there. Alright, so I filled up, and I also bought a whole whack of bread at, at ironically enough, bread. So I'd be better equipped for the battles ahead here. So let's just get to move on back into this cave and wander down this way and see what's going on. We'll be all good to go and ready to rock and roll here. And, hey, an enemy you haven't seen, a kobold. These guys are pretty weak, but they seem to get the first attack on me an awful lot. Not this time, but they seem to. You just haven't seen one. I've been fighting them off screen. Um, but I've been grinding. This is the first time I've encountered one while recording. So there you go. A kobold. Same as anything else. He just attacks. Takes off like two or three damage. Not a serious threat, but they can be a problem if you're ill-equipped. Hello, old man. What's going on? Uh-huh. Closed path will be open. Oh no, but first, a zombie! So let's see what we got here. Goods. Use. We got a club and a dagger, a lamp and a spear, and bread and tear, blue ring and letter. Oh, I gotta go up there. I actually gotta press A to switch. We got. See, we got a whole bunch of bread now. And eventually we're gonna run out of space, and then we'll have to start throwing out old weapons we don't want, like that dagger, for instance. Now right, let's use the stardust. Yeah. Sweet. It began to break. Why well, I feel bad about that. The town from evil once again. Well, that's good that the giant will do that job instead of me having to do it for them, I guess? Of course, he probably should have protected the dais here so that he didn't get stuck in statue form in the first place. Again, I'm assuming that's what happened, but I have no idea. And onwards and downwards and sidewards and waywards and holy crap words and moving onwards. That's a sentence somewhere. Somewhere. Okay. 
And oh man, this actually has a bit of more of an extension to it. The goblin cave was pretty small in comparison. This, this long, obnoxious walking path is kind of a pain. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it. So join us next time when we will get ready to move onwards and see what's on this new continent of land we have reached. Join us then, won't you?